Hi, I'm Dr. Elizabeth Krim. I'm a licensed psychologist and a certified Relax and Renew Yoga trainer. I'm also the founder and director of Moonstone Center. I want to talk to you today about an upcoming workshop we have on May 18th. It's a six-hour CEU event that is going to be very exciting. It's entitled Clinical Intuition and Psychotherapy, the Neurobiology of Flashes, Hunches, and Gut Feelings. This workshop is being led by Dr. Terry Marks Tarlow. She is a Norton Series author, the Norton Series on Interpersonal Neurobiology. She wrote the book in 2012, Clinical Intuition and Psychotherapy, The Neurobiology of Embodied Response. I want to take a moment and, uh, and welcome Dr. Tarlow and introduce her to you right now so you can get just a little bit of taste of how exciting she is and what brilliance she's going to bring to us for that day. I want to introduce you to Dr. Terry Marks Tarlow. Thank you for being here today, Terry. And thank you so much, Elizabeth, for having me, and thanks to Moonstone as well. I really look forward to doing our workshop together and to telling everybody what it's all about now. One of the things that I want you to know about Terry is that she is not only an author and an accomplished author and an invigorating speaker. I mean, to attend her workshops will be very exciting and invigorating and will be um, an experience where you deepen yourself as a clinician. Um, all of those things are going to happen for you, and all those things capture who she is. But she's also an artist. Uh, she has some amazing art. One of her pieces is on the website uh, where you can register for the event, um, and that is at moonstonecenter.com, so go check that out. Um, but she's also written a libretto for an opera, and she's done so many amazing things. You're really a brilliant woman, and I, that's what I tell people. I'm like, she is brilliant. Um, but she's also fun and very relatable, and I think it's going to be a very powerful day of of uh, CEUs. I always like to say about Moonstone's events that um, they're uh, edu dynamic education in the setting of self-care and one of the ways you'll be getting self-care is because Terry's just really feeds you when she in, in, uh, teaches and engages with you as well. So tell us a little bit about the book that you wrote, The uh, Clinical Intuition in Psychotherapy and The Neurobiology of Embodied Response is the name of the book. Right? That's right. So tell us a little bit about the book and then I want us to talk a little bit about the workshop because the workshop is based on the book. Yes, it yeah. is. Yeah. So at the book I was absolutely amazed to see that clinical intuition has not been written about before. And I truly believe that we all use clinical intuition all the time, minute to minute, when absolutely. we work in with our patients during sessions. So the book tries to capture the feel of working together and the way that work cannot be predicted and is not bound by theory when we actually come into the moments of our practice and it's more about the embodied feel of it. Mm. So you're talking, one of the things we talk about the neurobiology of that embodied feel, you really get into the right brain processes and how we know through our bodies. Absolutely. And okay. the right brain is in charge when it comes to clinical intuition and that's where the flashes and hunches and gut feelings comes comes in because it's very much body based very much individualized to the practitioner everybody has a different way of uh, informing ourselves about who we're working with and what's important from moment to moment well i i, I think that um you know when you say flashes hunches and gut feelings that is the title of the workshop we're doing Right. That is the time. Yeah, and I, I, what, when you say that, and what I resonate with so much, is that if anybody who has ever been in the therapist chair uh, knows that there are moments in session where for some strange reason you feel compelled to say a certain thing or to do certain things in a certain way um, that isn't taught in our graduate training, that isn't taught in our... Um, in any of our CEU experiences, we're not taught to listen to that process. And what I love about your work is you not only identify that process, but you raise it to a, a level that is honored and valued and even, and even embraced and saying this is what you're supposed to be doing in the clinical session. Absolutely. Yeah. I've, I've come to believe that it's unethical for us not to pay attention to this level of responding to our patients. Uh, because otherwise it's prescripted, and if it's prescripted, then we're not really together. We're not present, we're not in the room, and we're not letting the intersubjective space inform us about what we have to say. Right, and, and, and that is what the true present healing is about. When you're present with the patient, 
you don't know what's going to happen next. Exactly. Right. Just like in this interview. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's happening right now. You're right. You're right. So I want to um, pause here, and then I'm going to ask a few questions. And I want to let the, we're going to shift the camera and let them just see you, and let them get even more sense of you without me sitting here. So one of the things I learned early on in, in therapy was that I could trust my own responses. And I think that all clinicians um, need a, a foundation to do that. So the workshop is as much about reinforcing what you already have inside of you and coming to trust it even though we don't know how it's going to come up in therapy, how it's going to apply, what the next minute's going to bring, whether it's going to work any of that stuff. And yet, it's important to understand what we bring to the table and how to trust it. The reason we can trust clinical intuition is because it's not some mystical, airy-fairy thing. It actually is uh, something that comes from deep places within us and connects us to animals, it connects us to the care circuit between mothers and babies and the way that we automatically give uh, empathy and understanding to, to babies and we don't have to study that in books. And so I will be talking about the neurobiology of how these things are reflected in our brains, in our nervous systems, and in our bodies. So Terry, it was great having you today and being able to talk with you about the upcoming event and hearing more of what you're going to be bringing to us and having just even a taste of, of how you talk about clinical intuition. So I want to say, I hope that you've gotten a little bit of this enough to help you say, yes, I'm going. We want to invite you to come be there, spend the day with us. Go to the website to register. That's www.moonstonecenter.com and go to the events page and you can register for the event. The name of the event, again, is Clinical Intuition in Psychotherapy, the Neurobiology of Flashes, Hunches, and Gut Feelings. This event is on May 18th, that's a Saturday coming up, and it is in Santa Monica at the Trinity Church. They have a nice auditorium, and we're going to have a really great experience there. You enter through the courtyard, and it's just a pleasant space. That's in California and 10th in Santa Monica, and we look forward to seeing you there. Thanks, Elizabeth, and hope to see you there.